Hello and welcome. This is a screenshot sent to us by one of our clients and this is their equipment hub status. So this is something that they've set up uh, in order to monitor what's their equipment doing in real time. And there's actually a ton of information showing on here. So let's unpack this. So the very top section just has a very simple title, equipment hub status and the time. Now this might not seem important, but you could actually have multiple dashboards showing that you could have your TV monitor or your computer screen uh, paging through. So therefore having a good title so you know exactly which equipment you're looking at uh, it is a really good practice to get into. The next section here is in use status and you see it's got an emoticon and then it's got a map of your facility along with your different pieces of equipment. So there's currently five pieces of equipment showing here and the legend says green means it's in use, gray means it's not in use, and red means it's down. So what's happening is obviously everything is green except for equipment piece number 50517 which is currently down. So this gives you a very fast way to see at a glance the equipment levels, what's, what's going on, what's working, what's not, and you can tell very quickly what's down and importantly where it's at so uh, people can get there right away. The emoticon can actually change depending on how this works. You could have a full smiley face if all five pieces were in use. Currently you see he's kind of me, not totally happy, so he's kind of concerned. So that would mean that's because one of them is down. Or he could be totally unhappy when two or more pieces are down. So you, you can control that as well. This information is taken in real time from the equipment and this will update automatically on the screen uh, when all this is happening. The next section down below is the utilization level. So this gives you very similar information, uh, except now it gives you number data with it. So for each piece of equipment, you can see numerically what percentage of, of utilization it has. So it's, it's a little easier to look at from a percentage basis. Still has some nice green, orange, and red on it so that you can see at a glance that 50517 is definitely the problem in this case. And, uh, but it gives you just a little bit, you know, a little deeper information on that one. Over here in this section is the equipment down details. And so this is the information about what equipment is currently, you know, down, uh, when did it go down, how many hours has it been down, what's happening, who's the user, you can have in there who's detailed to fix it. So you can have all this information uh, there so that you can make sure something is being dealt with. And the final section is preventative maintenance. So what's, what preventative maintenance is coming due in the next 24 or 48 hours or which preventative maintenance is overdue? So where does this all come from? So these two sections over here come directly from the equipment. This section here, the equipment down details, could come from your, um, your maintenance log and that kind of information. Your preventative maintenance could come from your uh, preventative maintenance schedule, which could be in a calendar or a spreadsheet. So how is all this created? Well, this is simply created just using a PowerPoint uh, along with our add-on data point, which allows you to connect directly to the uh, data from the equipment in questions. So it was really simple to do. They no, didn't have to have an um, extensive graphic design background or anything to create this, or you didn't have to do custom programming. Instead, you really just simply uh, took each of these little graphics or text or text boxes or whatever they are and you really just connected them to data in each of these cases. So we hope um, you found this useful. If you have questions about how to create your own uh, equipment uh, monitoring system like this, please contact us. Uh, you can find out more information at presentationpoint.com.